Welcome one and welcome all to another fun, exciting evening featuring myself, Dorix, Blaskatronic, and I as we explore this wonderful world. I think I mentioned FSMM, but not sure mentioning her now, World of Factorio. Hooray! Thank you very much. I finally, I've got your camera to stay on you as well. I kept changing to Sid, but I got it sorted. We're all working. You're at a beautiful two frames per second because we're back using Hangouts again because Discord's having problems. Wonderful. Good evening, everybody. It's time for some more Factorio. Hey, it's exciting. I'm looking forward to it. And this um, this might be a big episode, right? We might get a spaceship launched t tonight. Yeah, we just might. Good heavens. Wouldn't that be wonderful? All right, let's uh, flick on over, jump on in, and remind ourselves of where we were, because it feels like it's been a while again. We are getting ready to launch a rocket. We are indeed. We are indeed. It sounds like FSM imps in a wind tunnel a little bit. Oh, it's shit. Not, it could be worse. I'm serious, though. If you've got, like, kind of anything to just put on your microphone, that will work. <laughs> okay. Like, a, a tiny Let's little... Budget. We're we'll just going to budget. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, let me... <laughs> box job, you know? Disable yeah. my microphone for a second, then. Like in the old country. <laughs> like in the old country, yeah, that's it. Cheeky budjo. Oh, brilliant. Okay, yeah, so we have a rocket silo that's going ahead and trying to make a rocket, but it is short on something. Maybe. Rocket control <laughs> modules, but it's mainly just short on that because we weren't making enough red circuits. Uh -huh. And we probably still aren't, but at least now we're making them. Okay. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's fuel, isn't it? This is rocket fuel. This is some low density structures. So, yeah, rocket control units is what we're missing. They're slowly that's trickling in. Dodic said. Um, oh, yeah, they are we pretty We need slow. a satellite as well. Oh, so we've got no blue circuits. Yeah, they're just slowly getting trickled in. Yeah. Should we do something about it, or do you think it's not worth it? We just leave it and let it let it go ahead. Um, I mean, we can go back down and see like what's holding up those, and yeah, you know, play that game. Uh, okay, so playing that game, it looks like the red circuits are what's limiting it. Yeah, and let's let's see what's limiting red circuits. Uh huh. Ooh, that's not a dumb question because I struggle with that too. Um, <laughs> and I think I think I ended up just. I mean, just make more, theory. right? Kind of like it looks like plastic isn't quite getting to the end line here. Yeah. So we could make a smudge more plastic. Okay. And given the fact that it's the red belt coming in isn't fully saturated. Yeah, like, that means we've we got a bit of space, right? We got some. some and if we did want to expand our red um circuit production we need more plastic anyway because that's kind of the lowest thing we got yeah okay so maybe maybe it's worth making a second belt then because this is yeah. pretty cluttered here isn't it it's going to be difficult to add in another yeah i mean plastic doesn't need a lot it just needs coal and chem so honestly what we could do is just make it some up here like kind of where i am yeah, that's a good idea. Or just kind of anywhere, and then just plop it on the red belt, you know? All right, let's do that then. Okay, so for plastic, we need the chemical plants, don't we? Yeah. Uh, production. Oh, I've got plenty of resources to make those. Let's yeah, get... I've got two. Just popping them down for you. Oh, perfect. I'll make another five. Because they don't take too long. Should be good. I'm just going to check on some of our other chemical stuff to make sure. Okay. Like... I suppose we are a little bit low on oil. Hey, go the there. C'est la vie. Oh, 021. I can see the shit and we're oh, acknowledging you. Yes, Hello, how's it going? 
Don't worry, Luke. <laughs> we know who that is. He's one of my uh, friends back from Central Oh, College. was that was, was that implied air quotation marks there or or not? No, no, Luke's my pal. He's, <laughs> All right, we're good, we're good. We're good. Sure. Nice. Nice to see you, Luke. Uh, Thanks for coming. He up. actually he has a really sweet job. He works at the Applied Physics Laboratory at John Hopkins. Sweet. Oh no. Good gig. Baltimore. All right. Oh, there's all sorts of fun things too you can do with this chat slot machine. Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah. plenty of plenty of fun things to be had. Right, how the hell do these things work again? Right, I need. Oh, I know what I wanted Hello. to do. Um, we actually. We actually don't. We haven't used this reference. I'm going to change this one because this one's not a very good reference. So. Um... Hello. Hi. I hear you. I hear you, Sydney. Okay. Is this better then? Uh, yeah, I think it's better. Okay. I haven't heard a pop yet. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay. It is. It's. I mean, it's, so it sounds like you're speaking into a shoebox, but like. It, yeah, it's, it's, it it's sounds. Better. Sounds like you're on a phone from the early '90s, but other than that, it's it's great. Yeah. It, it doesn't crackle. Yeah, that it does. Like the bad That's thing. true. And okay. I think it's it's suppressing your breathing as well, which I think is is like pretty important. So, yeah, I think I think we're good. good I always try to limit my breathing, so I'm, <laughs> I'm glad this can help. Yeah, you just need to stop breathing. Obviously, that's the that's the only solution here. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. Is Blasky from Idaho? With this accent? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't someone with a British accent is even more British than yours, and someone said, "Where you from?" They're like Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you go to school there? No, I don't. So I'm I'm the postdoc in the same lab as Mike. So uh, our mutual boss hired me from after my PhD to come do some research there. So that's how I know Mike. And the rest, as they say, is history. All right, I think I can vaguely remember how to play this game just a little bit. Oh God, not from the map though. There we go. So Luke um, is from Arizona? Or no, Iowa. he's from Iowa. Iowa, lovely. As I as I mentioned to Mike when I first met him, whereabouts in Iowa? <laughs> the question that no British man ever says ever. But my my girlfriend's family is um, somewhat from Iowa. So. That's a, an innate twitched. Uh, delay. There's nothing we can do about that, I'm afraid. I mean, it's that way people don't, you know, stream snipe us. Yeah, it's that's like it. Competitive PvP game You're gonna on the internet. Steal on Mad Factorio strats, and then then we'll have no edge. That's why right now we are. What rank are we right now, Plasky? Three. Three? Yep. Bronze yep. medal position. Number three. That's why. Uh huh. Oh, because of this, this great <laughs> plan of ours. Uh huh. Okay. There you go, there. And then I need to pipe in. What's the black one again? Is that petroleum? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one's that? That's this one. Oh, it's purple now. Wait, has it always been purple? I, mean, I guess it's probably always been purple, actually, but it looks good. I like it. Was what was what purple? Oh, the, the petroleum in the pipe. It looks kind of purpley. Okay. <laughs> do, do you not agree? <laughs> I'm, I'm on my way. Okay. I'm, I'm checking this out. Don't believe me, do you, mate? I thought that I don't believe you. 
Because I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I don't believe you, I just think you're lying. Did someone did someone just fix that pipe for me? That was lovely. Oh yeah, yeah, it's purple. I see what you mean. The window. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. See it. Okay. I think it was icon looked purple. I was like, no, no. That's like, no, right. it it looks like what is that? C2 uh, H4. If it's if it's purple. Wait, you, oh, oh, you mean yeah? Now I know what you mean. You mean the um, the the little icon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I thought we were still on the purple. Yeah, it looks like Ethene to me. Yeah. Ethene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, is there a way to say, see how many? Yeah, there's a way to see how many boss coins we got. Oh yeah. There it is. This is surely all explained in the like thing, right? The extensive documentation. Yeah, there's a, there's some <laughs> RTFM loot <laughs> in the channel. There's a whole section of the blast bot. Literally minutes writing it. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> minutes more than you spent at work <laughs> documenting the more CT code. Am I right? Oh yeah, definitely. God, I really need to get on with that at some point. It's alright. Whatever. You guys, I, I'm there, right? So I can just tell you how to use it. I've just realized I've done this completely wrong. So this needs to all be gone. Don't need any of that. So the way to do this is to have it coming in on the opposite side. Like here. Oh, is that where you wanted to come in on? Yeah, I'll just I'll just have it right next to the. And that's, okay. And I'll do it so I can just extend that on this side a little bit. Uh, so that's this line. Let's oh no! So Luke, that's uh that's their rank. So the rank. All right, it's a little little complicated, I suppose. And if you can't be asked to read the documentation, I suppose I can explain it. <laughs> So Go for it. If for every minute you watch chat, you get a coin, mm -hmm. and you also get a minute added to your total minutes watched. Yes. So we have ranks, which correspond to the total number of minutes you've watched. So those carrier is the uh, uh, a rank you get. I don't know. Is there? Is there? A, do we have a table of like what ranks correspond to what minute ranges? Uh, no, they're on. They're in the config file. If you check out the GitHub repo. Um, but other than that, no. Okay. Oh, shoot, that's, that's in the wrong place. One of these is wrong. That one. That one's in the wrong place. Thank you for standing there, by the way. That's really useful. <laughs> or is that me? That might be me, actually. What are you talking about? Yeah, okay. Where are you? You're not down here, are you? I'm up here, Clint Fandango. <laughs> I'm on my way back down. Hello, though. Stephen. Can you hear me? Clint Fandango. Yes, I can hear you, Clint Fandango. Is this a bloody Bible? Uh, actually, it is. I would never have agreed to that. I'm going to be here all fucking night. <laughs> um, I need to... I'm gonna change these. Uh, yeah, I think Cylon's the top rank right now, which breaks the mold for. Um... I've run out of Protoss units. Yeah. Um... Did you, you go into Brood War units like Dragoons? Oh, I didn't. No, I should have done that. Oh, okay. That's but then to... that gives. How many more units does that give us? That gives us the Reaver, Dragoons. What's the slug thing? That's a Reaver. Oh, Shuttle, I guess. <laughs> uh, Corsairs? Corsairs, yeah. I mean, these are not a ton, but still more, right? Yeah, it's three more. It's three more. Uh huh. That's all we can think of off the top of our heads. There, yeah. Probably. <clears throat> are you actively monitoring the Discord chat? I am not. I have it open, but I uh, not like super actively checking it right now when we're not streaming yeah when we're when we're not streaming absolutely it would almost be it'd be kind of interesting to have the blast spot in discord mention if anyone does a mention mm -hmm. 
of us, anyone that's in the talent group, to be like, hey, they're streaming. Yeah, so um, that needs the the Discord Twitch integration, which I still haven't worked out a way of doing it. I was about to say a good way of doing it, but honestly, even any way of doing it is just really obtuse. I think it, it's going to need you know some some pretty clever thinking to do it and i'm not really into clever thinking it's too difficult for me don't have time for that ain't got no time for that <laughs> <laughs> oops So should we just feed this straight onto the line to start with? Is that? Yeah, I'm feeding it on both sides. Do you know what I mean? That, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Split, yeah. Ain't no scrub. Not yeah. anymore, anyway. You guys have taught me well. You've learned a few things. Yeah. Although, actually, I've not given myself a lot of space to do that I here. I, as soon as you said, I'm not a chump, and you place that in my... Okay. I got this. Survey says... <laughs> Our survey says, mate, in about 10 seconds' time, you're going to be fucking eating those words with a knife and fork. In a marmalade jam. <laughs> I exactly. Am How did I glitch into this? You see where I am right now? Uh, nah, mate, I'm just fixing this delightful piece of engineering that I'm working on. <laughs> that you uh, think I've horribly chunked. But have clearly not. Gonna be eating those words with a big fat slice of humble pie. Uh huh. Egg and your face will be in alignment. <laughs> there we go. Check it out. Perfect. Wonderful. Uh, give me the elevator pitch on Factorio. Factorio is a logistics simulator. Uh, is the best way of describing it, I think. Um, you create a factory. You, there are resources that you can... Let me let me hit up the map and I'll show you. Uh, there are resources that you can mine. For instance, you find something. Here is some copper. This is just lying around. And at the start, you have a pick and you can go and pick away at it. Uh, there is also iron and coal. And there's plenty of trees as well that you can destroy for wood to get furnaces going and that kind of thing. And eventually, you automate all of this. So you build massive, massive factories... Um, this is ours, where we have plenty of power being produced by these steam turbines, although most of those are off because we now have a nuclear reactor. But look at, look, this is all that, that copper and iron is all like going around everywhere. We've got stuff being built and made, different belts taking things everywhere. Uh, these little inserters like picking, picking things up and putting them into assemblers to make new items. Uh, belts taking everything around, splitters splitting them all up. We've got science happening over here. Look at all these research labs. These are all making science occur. It's all pretty insane. It gets very complicated very quickly. Um, but actually, like the the, the individual components are, are reasonably simple and then straightforward. Like this, this is a black box. This assembling machine that is taking in some things and creating something else. It's. Uh, yeah, it's all it's all pretty cool. I like it. There's trains and all sorts. Uh, think of the children. Yes. Well, we were nu nuking our friendly neighborhood uh, biters in the last stream. These guys are the baddies, and they they are attracted by pollution. So all of the stuff that you do creates pollution, and that pulls. I love the how they're the baddies. Like, there's some environmental justice subtext in this. Like, there really you is. Can the planet and pillage the resources, create pollution, <laughs> and kill the native population, like... Yeah, it's really not good. And thinking of the children, you can actually take the depleted, like, uranium uh, bits from the reactor and refine those into bullets and bombs, so it's, pre it's pretty fun. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty dark. Um... It looks like we need another line if we're gonna do more plastic. Well, I, I think we're probably okay. 
Okay. Let's let's just now check the results. I mean, yeah. it'll take a little bit for that to get up here. I mean, I can... Well, no, the plastic line's completely filled here now, so we're creating red circuits of decent whack. So, so the, then what we should do is, like, build more red circuit... Um, creation, yeah, maybe. Creation, then, right? Because, like, the, then if these are all churn churning away without running out of any resources, then we're good for it. Although it looks like... Let me... Let's let's we let's wait a bit longer and see how it how it backs up because our current kind of surplus of red circuits is now nearly at the blue circuit creation. Wait, no, where does it go? Oh, that's something else. Oh, this yeah, sorry, this is where we're getting red, making blues. I mean, these are never going to get red circuits. Look at these. They're, they're getting picked up after the first, like, three-ish. So, yeah, we just need yeah, more reds. So <laughs> cool. All right, where should we build that, then? Well, so the reds need quite a bit of support, right? Because yeah, they, they do. Because they need greens well. What about... Um, what about just north of the wall, north of the mall, maybe? Like, there's a lot of space there, and it's just a little bit beyond where we're currently making the red, so we can probably ship everything else up pretty easily. Alright, like where I am? Uh, Wait, no, I don't... S oh, yeah, yeah, a bit lower even, like below that RoboPort, just, just like straight after the wall. But there is, that works too, like, whichever. Um, so Levi says, is this the same group that does Stellarium events? I don't know what Stellarium is. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't think so, though. They haven't done anything other than Factorio, right? Oh, you mean the the, the developers? Um, oh, I guess so. Maybe not, though. Oh, shoot. Are you talking about the music, maybe? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I've lost the thread here. I, I mean, I don't, the, when you say group, do you mean the people that made the, the game, or, the background music is from Blasky's private soundtrack selection, so, yeah, it's not from, I can just tell you what's playing, we have it, we have a now playing function on Blastbot, but it'll give you the wrong thing currently, um, but that's fine, like, I think that it's only really Factorio that we need a different background music anyway. Okay, no, no, all right. No, no, all right. We, we got the wrong end of the, the stick. I want to open some Jaffa cakes. Um, have some delicious imported British goodies. This whole oh pack boy. is going, by the way. The Jaffa cakes? The Jaffas. Yeah, this is this is well and truly going to be an empty pack in oh. probably half an hour or so. Oh, you know, St. Levy, I'm sorry. I, that, yeah, that was fucking annoying me too. I need to leave that group. Actually, I think Steam, like, after maybe eight years of people complaining, has finally added the ability to, like, toggle those or ignore those. So they mm -hmm. keep popping up. I don't know why I invited you to that group or what that group does. That was so long ago. But I also hate those notifications, so. Mm-hmm. Man, we also need to get a satellite. We're almost ready for launch here. We're at sixty percent. All right. How are we? How are we doing on the components now? Are we making enough? I mean, we they were just barely making them. We well, yeah, they're, uh, they're just trickling in slowly. But I mean, like we were making them, so well, it's just a matter of time. Right up here is the thing where missing the solar panels. Oh, do we need to make a solar panel factory, or do you have that? Yeah. We need to make one. Okay, I can do that. Okay, I've got to remind myself what what we need for these. I don't remember. I'm 
Okay, that's good. We've already got blue circuits up here, which is useful. And the rocket fuel. Oh, are we going to just make like an ad hoc satellite or are we doing a factory for it? There's a requester chest that's doing it. Oh, okay. You're kind of standing next to it, actually. Mm hmm. You see it? I see now, yeah. Okay, do we... Honestly, I probably joined that group when it was like a Steam achievement thing for some summer event. That was terrible. Oh, probably, yeah. Get yourself some trading cards or something. Okay, so we're, we're making a solar panel factory. The only other thing we need a lot of are accumulators. Do we have an accumulator no. factory or... Juice? Cranberry juice? Juice. juice. Yeah, so like lacra and juice. So I'm getting a, I'm putting in a drink order right now. Yeah. Some cranberry juice and sparkling water, please. With the waitress. Yeah, wait, here. I don't need this. It's an empty cup. Okay, can I get a straw? Okay. Ice cubes. Iron plates and batteries, they're easy to make. Do we do we have uh, accumulators on the bus? Like, are they being manufactured somewhere? Or they're being like... manufactured somewhere, yeah. Really? If you hit L... Doesn't this just tell us, like, what's in storage, though? Yes, yeah, so that means they're being made. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess. They're being made right above the batteries, which is right above the first wall. I see. Gotcha. I mean, we need quite a few of them. Do we want to... What's going on with the steel, Sydney? What do you mean? There's a, there's a missing piece of the belt. Is this part We're going south or what? Going north, I'm standing on the belt. See that? Yeah, I'm trying to think of why that was there. Um, um, because it feeds back. That the steel that's on this line here is from a requester chest. It's from a requester chest? Yes. Okay. Right here is where the steel comes from. Okay. Um, because we used to be making steel way south. So we needed a way to get the steel back south. Okay. And then it needed to go through the first part of the base, and then we have this part, the steel thing, making it for the second part. Okay. Because I was just worried about the, the, our steel. I'm going to use up all the steel as soon as I pull it off the line for um, solar panels. Yep. So we'll need to beef up our steel production. I'm sorry, Maddie. What you, you were saying something? Oh, it's all good, mate. I got it. I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Don't ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness, right? That's right. Enough. Oh no, it was. We're good. <clears throat> you want to have cheeky pull, pull on the slots there. Hit, hit the uh, exclamation mark and then slots. That'll help you gamble away your life. I love you, baby. I love you too, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. I can't find where the bloody... Oh, now I've turned the map off, so now I don't know where it is again. Just 
just above this massive wall. There we go. That was close. That was close. <laughs> I didn't give myself enough space to make this accumulator factory, so I've chumped it. Classic. Mm hmm. Uh, I think I might have accidentally deleted a RoboPort there. <laughs> nah, Rip that's Robits. Not, that's not what I wanted. You served us well until Big you boat. were deleted. Why, why you purpose. kill me? Why do you do I this? I do that, Blasty. I know. Oh well, whatever. Alright, I'll build it later. Hey Sydney, what's the keystrokes again for the copying? Um, shift, right click, shift, left click. Shift, right to copy, shift, left to paste. Yeah, except that's not the spell I want, or the recipe I wanted. Oh, I just gamble for more coins. No. There is a jackpot no. to be won where you get a free game, which we'll give you on Discord. And you can check what games are on the Discord by uh, doing that on Discord, not on- Oh, it doesn't work on Twitch or stream. <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> that? Destroy the chat. <laughs> yeah, it chat. would just annihilate it. Oh, that's cool. So I copied it. When you copy, you're copying that entity, not what it currently is. So I copied one that was a speed module. Mike then pasted over that speed module. When I pasted, it pasted what it had become the solar panel and not the speed module. So that's oh, a cool. neat little thing. Also, how did Steel get on the screen belt? Oh shit, have I, have I chopped it? It was just an accident when I was building it. Oh, okay. If Oops. you look over here, Sydney. That was my bad. Uh, oh, when I went underground right here. Let's see. Oh, it was just in the construction. It was not a permanent boo-boo. Oh, I didn't blast it up. Wow, really? <laughs> Is that what we're gonna say? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what an asshole! <laughs> hey, up, Dark Mail. Nice to see you, mate. Thanks for coming out. Your productivity. <laughs> Just trying to be your only viewer. Uh, you're pretty much <laughs> <all boring. laughs> It's an easy thing to achieve. I don't really know why I did that. I don't need it. I'm going to leave it though. I'm just going to put this in a passive provider chest. Good idea. Let the bots take it from here. All right, robots. Okay. 
Oh what? man, you burned through those. Okay, we got some more accumulators. Being... Yeah, it, co it costs 10 per pull. Uh oh. Oh boy. What's the matter? Run, this, run the blast coins command, Luke. Let's see how many you've got. Let me play twice. Oh, really? Oh shit. Have I, have I jumped it? Have we got a problem? Yeah, I think we might have got a bugger Rooney. Uh oh. A buggerzilla. Lol. All right, you should run the slot command, then run the blast coins command. Let's see if it deducted it correctly. Boss spot's going crazy at the hundred dollars a pull now. <laughs> Maybe did I? Uh oh, Ruh row. I'm looking through the chat to to see it didn't it didn't error anything. Cat's Coffee Chem is a uh, blast going baron. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> With nearly 20% of what Gibu has. All right, solar panel factory is working. Cool. Oh, I don't have any batteries here. Right, right. Hmm. Okay. I mean, are you putting? Is the load density going into a chest somewhere? I uh, know it's not. I, I will add that. It already made one. A satellite. Yeah. Oh, Sadly, sitting in there. All right. All right. So, do we put that in the space rocket? Nope. Oh, oh, ninety-eight percent. Oh man, you have oh, the satellite. What? No, it's in there. So, what if we launch without a satellite? Um, I don't. It doesn't give research, I know that. I'm not sure if it says you in the game. I don't think it will. It's not gonna launch, right? No, it's, it, it won't launch unless you click launch. Oh man, it's preparing! Wait, wait, wait. I don't see it yet. The silos are open. Oh, look at it go! Oh man, do you wanna wait. go get the satellite, Blasky? Oh, I'd love to, mate. I'd love to. Where are we at? Where is the satellite? It's... I thought you said you saw where it was. It's it's being made right above the load density component. Oh, okay. So it's not or it's not actually been control. made yet. It's still in the assembler, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll go get it then. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go, everybody. This is exciting. Yep. So this this is the main objective, right? Of Factorio, yeah, isn't this it? This is how you this is how you win the game. All right. Yeah. It's time to win the game. Okay, so I am gonna put in the satellite. Here it goes into the rocket. There is currently some raw fish in the rocket. <laughs> is that how you get? Is that how you get the uh, thanks for all the fish achievement there? Yep. Oh, is it? Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. 
We'll have to launch another one after this then. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Okay, we'll do one more. All right. Okay, the satellite's in. Let's get a countdown in from chat. <laughs> oh, that's going to go well. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's give us a countdown from 10. Yeah. 45. 44. <laughs> <laughs> you got to catch up to chat. Hey, Clyde. Nice oh, to see you, mate. Hey, You're coming just in time. We're about to win the game. 10. We're about to launch a rocket. All right. We got 10. Nine. 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 Four, eight, eight. No, it's gotta be consecutive numbers. It's gotta be consecutive. And percent. Four, seven, seven. seven. We got a seven from Clyde and Dartmail. You don't have a three. Can I buy a vowel? We got a six. six. We got a six. There we go. T minus six. Survey says six, six five, 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 four, four three, 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 three. Three. <laughs> three. It's still three. Two. 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 One. one all right no we launch at zero we launch at zero one. t minus one t Man. minus one there we go all right oh yeah oh, we are go. standing very close to this <laughs> okay the silo Blast off. Oh, we can chase it! We can chase it! Oh, it's gone! It's gone! <laughs> Ta-da! Smoke me a kipper! I'll be back for breakfast. <laughs> that. There we go. Is it? Is that? Won the game without doing any laser charts. Yeah. Nice. All right. Awesome. Took us forty-one hours. <laughs> 41 hours, Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. How many look how many trees we killed? 65,000 <laughs> trees. It's we killed four trees and I think all the biters combined. <laughs> yeah, look we, at, we killed one inserter. These are I like how the bottom is basically everything you ran over during the game. A centrifuge? <laughs> what does that have? That's an expensive destruction. Oh, that was me. I remember doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Drove a tank into the centrifuge. Oh man. Seven players. So that means that that's our death. So that's our total death count, right? Yep. That's not bad. We didn't do too badly. I think we were pretty well split then, I guess. Mm hmm. <laughs> so don't hit finish and then it takes no. you off the server. You can save the replay? Is that like the whole thing? I think so. I'm not sure what it does. So what we should do is just. I think it just saves the loop. game, like, right? Like, we'll run break or something. Lunchtime, save. So, what's yeah. that in the upper left? Target, rocket, silo, frame. Um, if you click on it, it shows how many satellites you've launched. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. So let's send, send a fish. Satellite. So does it, you know, is this like a SpaceX self-landing rocket? Is it going to come back and give us science or? It did. It, there's a thousand science packs in there. You see it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I see it now. I hadn't seen rocket it. Rocket result inventory. It just tell, I think it's just data we collect, like telemetry or something. Woo, this is oh, a big man. old Look line that. of <laughs> Woo, loggers boys. <laughs> yeah, Healy boys. Here you go. Oh shit! Too far! Break up! <laughs> Clyde's pulling, pulling rank. <laughs> oh, God. oh, we got friends forever in chat now. That's lovely. Let me get my, uh, let me get me Willy out. <laughs> 125 hours, there you go. W wagon Willy's over there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, 
All right, rock and roll. All right, so what are we gonna research with our infinite science? Do we want mining productivity, flamethrower damage, worker robot speed? There's a lot of options. I see, yeah. Do oh, okay, so all of these are infinite ones, right? They yeah. can just go on forever. Should we finish the others? Like, is there an achievement for getting all of the non-infinite researchers? Uh, yes, there is. Should probably do that then, right? Let's let's 420 blaze the laser turret. Oh, this is going to be hilarious, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, all right. It's going to be fine then. <laughs> See, like, the <laughs> big balls 37 minutes over there. Good stuff. <laughs> um, great. Let's send a fish up as well. Yeah. I think you have to first get the rocket built, and then we can put the fish in there. Yeah, okay. Whoa, I nearly got hit by a train. We're good. So if you, do, if you just check the box, auto launch with cargo, can you have it then, like, load in cargo? Yep, you can just have an inserter try to place something in it. That's and cool. And it can only be after it's been created. Nice. And then it has auto launch, so if it has a satellite, which we have another one already. Yay! Cool. Although this, the next one's gonna be fishies, right? It is, yeah. Let's yeah. let's send some fish. Uh, so, we sh short with the RCLs. RCUs, even, I guess, I mean. So Luke, if you if you do slot and then do blast coins, does it deduct it correctly? Like just let's let's see if let's see if it works. Yeah, I've not noticed this problem before. All right. But did we do blast coins before you did the slot? That yeah, yeah, there's a blast coins way above it, but right. So five five oh nine. Yeah, but he's, it's been like. Ages, so I mean, I'll nine. scroll up. Don't worry, you don't have to do it in team maps. Yeah, but it was like 10 minutes ago, so it's gonna be a different number, right? It was 508 before, but that was yeah, ages but, ago. Now. I mean, the difference between oh, man, now you gotta do it again, keep gambling. Yeah, slot again. Yeah. Now. let's see. <laughs> but the, it's also like an order of magnitude difference, right? Let's let's have a let's have another slot and then another blast coins. All right, you got five, so you should be down by five right now. So you should be on two oh no five oh four, right? You need an S. Last coins. Last coins. That's it. Not alias yet. All right, that was you. So that's not a okay. <laughs> You're like holy shit. I was like, oh god, five oh five, right? So yeah, I don't know what happened to your 200 coins I sent you. Okay, Clyde, you do a slot, and then Sailor V do blast coins. Because one thing that happened before is Dark Mail pulled the slot machine a couple of times, so I'm wondering if maybe it deducted the wrong ones. So I need to check that that doesn't happen. Okay, see, that that's... So it's still separate. It looks like it's working as intended. I don't know where those 200 disappeared to. That is a bit weird. I mean, maybe you just never got them. Yeah, maybe. Right? Like, then that, that kind of fixes everything. Mm-hmm. Absolutely dicing with death with these bloody trains, then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Zigzagging by playing yeah, Roger. Yeah, that's a strafe to get out of that one. I think it would be fun to just make a map where you just have a bunch of trains zigzagging <laughs> and belts and it's like an obstacle course. Like you just gotta <laughs> run through this and dodge the trains and yeah. the belts make it tough because they're gonna keep pushing you onto the tracks. <laughs> That'd be so good. Flamethrower turrets firing, like you could just do like, you know, an entire crazy obstacle course. The Iron Man Factorio Edition. <laughs> that sounds awesome. We could have lost 200 minutes of our lives. That is true. Maybe the next, maybe the last three hours and 20 minutes. Just is, is Fire Emblem that new Pokemon game? It's the one you think's Pokemon, yeah. But it's it's actually like it's a pretty good game. 
What, what was your problem? <laughs> what was your wall, Clyde? Clyde's doing, for those who don't know, Clyde's doing a bit of pixel editing um, for Fire Emblem. I believe he's just trying to change some of the animations, right? Or are you, like, it, it sounded like you were fixing them, but I didn't know how they were broken in the first place. Um, but either way, uh, Clyde has been doing some pixel art on it, and it looks super, super good, like what he's been doing. It's really impressive. I am not good at pixel art. I leave that to Clyde and Gibu. Like Final Fantasy. Um, I mean it's a. It has elements Is that are a bit like it. It's it, it's a Japanese. It's an anime game. Um, you it's kind of. The fighting when you start fighting, it looks a bit like the Final Fantasy fighting thing. Like they stand opposite each other, and you can like trigger your attacks and stuff. But that is pretty much where it ends I think I guess it's an RPG as well so they, it does have RPG elements but the the you go onto maps and then the maps are like Cartesian maps where you move your troops around and you your guys around that's that's wallband talking you move your guys around and you get into fights and it's a turn based thing so all of your guys go first then all of their guys go it was it was cool I uh, give you yes I did I did mention you uh, just saying that you're great at pixel art we love the pixel art that you make. Uh, oh, Clyde wasn't fixing them; he was editing them. What? How are you ed like? Other than other than to do it, are you editing them for a particular reason, or just because you wanted to give it a shot? What should I be doing, by the way? I'm just kind of wandering around, <laughs> like. <laughs> so, all right. Let me just respond to. I wouldn't say I like vape per se. So I did, there was a Reddit giveaway thread for people that were trying to quit smoking and not that I like smoke or need to quit smoking, but I just wanted to win some free stuff. So I won some free, like, like vape juice stuff. So then I got a cheap, like Chinese vape that isn't going to burn the house down, but is inexpensive and it's just something kind of fun. I guess I do when I'm bored. Seems legit. Like, yeah. So yeah, he vapes, bro. I <laughs> guess, but I don't. I I wouldn't say I'm part of that subculture at all. No, he doesn't. Okay. That isn't your your style or subculture. You're, you're correct. <laughs> you know, okay. I've thought about that at night, Luke, as I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you totally have. <laughs> Like, be careful. When you make chests like this, make sure you limit them. Oh, I didn't? I'm no, sure. you didn't. Are you talking about the um, passive? Solar panels. Oh, yeah. shit, the solar panels. Yeah, oh, there's 400 of them now. Perfect. But it's not Sorry. too bad, but no. This is definitely one of those ones where you turn up with uh, 2,400 of them. It's like, well, shit. Not Sorry, as bad as the filter. Stack inserters. That was a really bad one to have the full chest of. <laughs> <laughs> Filter st Sorry, it was the low density structure I built. I was the one I most recently built, and I remember distinctly putting a limit on it. So I thought that's the one you were referencing. So sorry, yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, no, it's. It makes me laugh. <laughs> But yeah, actually, I was thinking about getting into making the, like, vape juice stuff. Because it's basically just glycol and some flavorings. So it seems like it'd be silly to, like, it, you can save a lot of money and then you can, like, buy ridiculous flavors like fried chicken. I have the essence of fried chicken. Yeah, everyone says it tastes awful. So I'm, I wouldn't really do it, but... Someone's like, yeah, I'm going to do a flavor review of fried chicken. I don't know why, but here we go. It tastes like regret. <laughs> like, if you can somehow like construe this really gross burnt taste for burnt fried chicken, I guess it kind of works. <laughs> Maybe. 
There we go. That's that's how you do is open an Etsy shop. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe go to the Boise Farmer's Market and sell mason jars full of e-cigarette juice. I'm sure you could. I'm sure people would buy Home, it. Homemade, organic, non-GMO <laughs> e-cigarette juice. Yeah, exactly. Zero yeah. calories. Low in saturated fats. That's a lot now. Tough on OMSD. Stains. Tough on the causes of stains. So, Gibu, I did read the, the transcript. Not on stream, though. I don't think it will work on stream. It's it's better... Like... It would be better in real time on stream, I think. But it's good. I enjoyed it. Where does the name come from, by the way? Mirant Futal. Is that another another Gibu classic? Sounds like a Klingon. It does, name. doesn't it? I like it. Or I think it's a cool name. maybe even Cardass... Uh... Cardassian. Cardassian, yeah. Not Kardashian. No. That's no, I had to stop. Me. I had to make sure I wasn't saying that. Yeah, I, I tripped on it too. <laughs> I was like, mm, let's make sure we get the right one. We're talking about the vagina faces, not the vagina brains. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I still don't really know what I'm doing. Like, I feel a bit lost now we've launched a rocket into space. <laughs> We're waiting to launch the fission to space now. Is it? Is that like? Yeah. Is there anything we can do to like help the process? I feel like I should try and do something productive rather than just sit around. Right. Although I'm just, I'm yeah, enjoying more... sitting around chatting, honestly. <laughs> more rocket control units, please. Like, yeah. Whatever like how... is preventing those being made is what we need to do. Like every looks like blue circuits. It's, it's blue circuits blue again, circuits. but the red circuits we kind of fixed, right? Not really. We sort of fixed a bit, maybe. If you look at the blue, like, wh what's ever is limiting the blue circuits right now is probably red circuits. Wait, where's the... Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. It's this underground one. Yeah, so it's red. Because, like, see these ones down here aren't even making Yeah, it. there's two assemblers that aren't doing anything there. But these, these ones are running full tilt, right? Yeah, they're just... It takes... It's slow. That's why we have... We yeah. could upgrade the speed modules and stuff, right? They're only speed twos and prod twos. Oh, that's true. We they could be do prod that. threes and speed threes. PO. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I feel like... We're, we're, we don't have enough red circuits because we've got so many splitters on this line, I think. So maybe we need a second line? Is that the way to solve it? or? Well, the line isn't saturated. Well, that's true, so there's no point getting a second line. So well, actually, looking at that. it, these, some of these red circuit production things are not doing anything either. Why is that? So they have to green. Oh, yes. We're short on green. Okay. Well, let's... So this is, this is another, like, core element of Factorio is kind of like, as you build your factory... To identify kind of the bottlenecks and limiting like components and then build more of those so yeah. it's kind of a fun like it's really a good like lesson in how to troubleshoot problems yeah it is absolutely because it's like a, <laughs> your factory is like a stack trace that you get to inspect yeah it is <laughs> work down through the stack uh so do you have to use that ad space or what so actually arranging a stream is not a trivial thing to do um, because the stream size is the same as the game size. So if you want to put extra stuff on it, like the chat and cams and stuff like that, you have to either cover up bits of the, the screen or you end up with massive spaces everywhere. So I need, we needed something to do and we had three wonderful companies who decided they wanted to sponsor us. So we decided to advertise their, their products. Yes. Dr. Dr. Pepe. -er. Uh, Dogetta Stone and Here Come That Boink. <laughs> Which is my favourite, but I don't think anyone gets it. <laughs> Here Come That Boink. We, we get it, but yeah. <laughs> like, I made, I made it green, I replaced the eye with that boy, and called it That Boink. <laughs> I don't know. That was one of my finer moments, I think. Alright, so I'm looking at this green circuit produ production facility over here, and it is... I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> 
Let's just ignore that URL I pasted. Oh, oh boy. Oh uh oh. No, no, it's not bad or anything. It's just <laughs> I actually copied it with Google's like JavaScript injection. Oh, I see. I get you. Yeah. I thought that might what have been we need to do is get sponsored by Wolf Cola. I don't know if you're. I guess you don't watch Sunny in Philadelphia. I don't know. But in, in some crazy scheme to help cook the books at the bar, they invented a fake cola company. So it's also like a fictitious company that is just. Yeah. Okay, I have more copper ore from the trains being unloaded so that we uh, get more copper, which will help with green circuits. Oh, because right. is the green circuits limited by the copper wire? Oh it yeah, like look it, at that. Yeah. This is this is gorgeous. Like this entire setup is just insane. It looks brilliant. <clears throat> this is the grossest thing I've ever seen, though. <laughs> yeah, no, the, these junctions are pretty bad. <laughs> it just looks like a meat grinder. Like if you yeah. had long hair or a coat sleeve caught in this, you would oh, yeah, yeah. just get going shreds. No, this, this kills <laughs> hundreds a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're producing <coughs> a ton of green circuits. We've got two full, not quite full, actually, but somewhat saturated lines. Don't forget to pick up your nuclear bombs and uranium ammo down here. Oh, I should do that. I don't have any. But don't keep the, the nukes on the... Oh, that would, that would be bad. 24 plus 28... Wait, seriously? 24 plus 28.8 physical damage from the uranium rounds, and the armor piercing rounds are 8 plus 9.6? It's like Yeah, these times... should shred. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, biter nests. Here we go. I'm gonna go... Go on the hunt. I guess I don't... Really want oh yeah, this is pretty good. This does the job. Yeah. We got quite, quite a few nukes going on. I'm not. I don't trust myself with the nukes. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> it's going to be a mistake. Yeah, it's so easy to nuke your base. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I trust myself with the nukes though, so I'll, I'll. Okay, you do it. You do it. Pop it out for the combat shotgun. How many virtual drinks do I experience virtual alcohol poisoning? Uh, five. <laughs> Uh, the drinks don't do anything yet, currently, but I am- I do have some really good ideas for- Whoa, this gun is insane now. Alright, here we go. Nuke away! Oh, oh god. Woohoo! <sighs> well, that was- that cleared out that base really quickly. Jeez. Oh. So OP. That was amazing. That- you were just out of range of that yeah, one. Yeah, I didn't know that one- that one was out, yeah. Ooh. I also got the really fancy combat robots. Whoa, what are these? Oh, they look cool. Look at these boys. How do I- I want some- I want some fighty boys. How do you get fighty boys? Must be under combat, right? Yeah. It's too bad my like repair boys don't repair them. Yeah. Oh, are these? Are they the capsules? They're the defender capsules. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's a destroyer capsule? That's the robot. So yeah. there's like different oh, tiers of them. Oh, sweet. <coughs> oh wow, but you need like exponentially more, right? Yeah. But they they're exponentially better. Are they? I, th I mean, these these things are like deleting them. Are you just using defenders? No, I'm using the destroyers. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they need four times the previous ones, but they're only about one and a half times as good. Maybe twice as good. No, one and a half, actually. Yeah, but you can only have a finite out amount out. Yeah, yeah, so it's like better to... 
Well, I can and make they distract three. them. I'll make three. I mean, whatever, like, whatever you want to do. You don't have yeah, to no, do no, it, no. I, I won them. I was just trying to work out which one's the best or not. Uh oh. Let's shield counter <laughs> repel fighters of that magnitude. <laughs> Kill them all. Yeah. They tried to invade our home and create pollution everywhere. Oh no, wait, that was us, wasn't it? Oh yeah, oops. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to take the moral high ground in this game. <laughs> Flame does a lot of damage too. Yeah, the the flamethrower is awesome, I think, and the uh, shotgun as well. The what is it like the armor piercing shotgun? Combat shotgun with armor piercing rounds. Yeah, yeah, that's super good. <coughs> I'm glad we haven't had to fight any behemoths. Yeah, I haven't even seen any, right? I kind of want to though. It'd be pretty fun. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Whoops. I'm gonna burn through that quickly. Uh, I bet we can launch our next rocket. Yeah. I'll I'm just check. gonna clear this base, then I'll. I'll be right there. All right, good night, Luke. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. See you, fella. Like, subscribe, follow. Uh-huh. And hopefully see you next time. Thanks for coming in. It's been good to chat to you. All the best, mate. Now oh, we're only at 70%. Rocket. Oh, long way off still. I like how the rocket silo has some lights. Yeah. That's cool. We'd hope so for the price we spent on it. Right. <laughs> yeah, it could use. I think it could use some like fauna, like a little garden, maybe a little fountain. Yeah. Rocket fuel fountain, maybe. That'd be nice. Yeah, rocket fuel fountain. That seems cheap. Well, that, that pack seems... of Jaffa cakes is now officially gone. So there you go. Oh man, you burned through that one. Mm -hmm. Didn't even bring him to the office to share. Mm -mm. You wouldn't have liked them, they were all mashed together. <laughs> oh yeah, whatever you have to tell yourself to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I can't remember how to pronounce it, Clyde. I, I got it nailed, didn't I? I can't remember. I haven't, I haven't found any. I'm afraid. I've been looking. I found Coleman's mustard today, though. That made me happy. Proper English mustard. None of this American rubbish. I quite like American mustard, actually, but it, it, it's not even slightly close to English mustard. They're like two different condiments, really. English mustard's really fiery, like super, super hot. Horse radish plus. <laughs> at least I didn't steal a smoker's chance of freedom from cigarettes. That is true. You know, maybe. <laughs> that is pretty funny. <laughs> Damn the process it. that Mike went to go get them. <laughs> What the hell is going on over here? What are you building there, Dorix? Oh, I'm, I'm building a solar panel um, charging thing. 
Oh, sweet. Just for the hell of it. I figured we didn't really do any solar, which no, was fine. But I just wanted to build one of these. Maybe now we can offset our carbon footprint from the 600,000 trees we killed. <laughs> yeah, I'm demolishing some to make room for the solar farm, so... Okay, that seems fine. <laughs> It'll be carbon neutral eventually. Poetic justice in that, I guess. Yeah. I better hook this to the grid. That would probably be useful. It looks like some of it is. It wasn't tied into the main grid. Oh, I see. And so it's laid out in a way that, like, these solar panels charge all the uh, accumulators, so it makes it through the night. Okay. So does it? Or else, do you, you know, have to make it like that? Does it have to be that big in order for you no. to actually? No. It's just it, it has the ratios and the footprint and the size is all right. Oh, I see. I see. That's cool. Looks nice. I don't. <coughs> Something to do with all the solar panels I accidentally made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all the accumulators I accidentally made as well. <laughs> While you guys were talking about that, I was like, I quickly went to my passive provider chest and limited that because I hadn't. Oopsies. Seventy-three percent. Still not making any rocket control units. Hmm. Yeah, it's still the blue circuits that's the problem. Yep, and which is really the green circuits, copper line, almost. All right. No, we have enough green circuits for blues, and... Oh, do we just need to upgrade their modules to tier 3s instead of tier 2s? Might be some of that, yeah. I mean, there's tier 3s right next to it. Literally in the chest next to it. <clears throat> Damn lazy robots not putting in the right modules for us. I know. Get the stuff these days. Well, you get what you pay for. We're not paying these robots a lot. No, I guess not. They should just get paid in satisfaction of doing a good job. Yeah. <coughs> I think we could probably s squeeze one more assembler in here on the left as well. But, like, if you see this one over here isn't making anything because oh, it's not true. getting yes. enough red circuit. What's that? It's not getting red circuits now. Yeah. Yeah, because here, look over here, Blasky. Uh... Entire row of blue circuit making over here. Oh, yeah, it's doing nothing. Oh, yeah. Really Part of the problem red. is, like, red. uh... Module production feeds directly off of this. So when we add more modules to things, it takes away from the blues. Hmm. Yeah, but we haven't needed to make more modules in a long time. Well, they're used for the RCUs as well. Oh, that's right. We're, we're starting to build up a backlog of them, but it's going to take a long time for it to fully saturate. <clears throat> Yeah, but like there's still red science or red circuits back here that aren't being made. Yeah, because we don't have enough green again. Yeah, so it is the green. And then the green is limited by the copper. And the the copper plate production seems fine, right? Like It's hard to tell right now because the train's unloading, so everything's completely backed up. There's at least a couple of green circuits. Oh, wait, actually, why aren't these going? Yeah, there's maybe five green circuits that aren't like green circuit assemblers that aren't working because they don't have copper. 
plates. Yeah. I put I put the didn't I put it on stream Clyde? It was I didn't read the words. It, it was a bit long. Give me the give me the TLDR. <coughs> Do you think is it? You think it's a splitting, Sydney? Not necessarily. I don't really want to mess around with the splitting. It looks too difficult. Well, I'm just trying to see if the splitting step. There's any obvious like ones that like one one line's moving faster than another or something like that. Well, there's a there's a splitter here. On the so it's near the bottom. I'm, I'm working. I'm working from the bottom. Um, Are you? Oh, so you're you're in map mode, right? You're not I am, like yeah, where sorry, you're. Sorry, yeah. And okay. I, it, it's feeding onto the steel. Let me let me wander down. It'll be easier if I come and show you. I guess. Well, important. I just wanted to make sure that you yeah, weren't right. fixing it upstream because it's down here is where it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, like, we have this splitter here. It's backed up. It's not sucking anything, so oh, it's okay. Oh, so that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I was looking. I was trying to see if there's an obvious one. Like, so if there was like a red one of these belts mm -hmm. that would just stop and not moving at all, that would be like a hint. But it looks fine. I think Sydney actually just how do we some more over? So we'll find like, out. how do we have three full full lines here? Then we've got a bunch of like underground stuff and splitters, and then we have two full lines and one that is not full anymore. But there's no underground. Oh, we've we're, we've split off into four. I see. Mm -hmm. So we've taken three and turned into four. But oh, the the copper's some... backed up just because yeah. the green circuit's backed up. So nothing, nothing was fixed. It's just the problem went away. I saw you move some plate. You moved some of these. I moved. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I think you fixed it. But I don't think I was taking off more than a quarter of a belt, though. <clears throat> yeah. So I th remember I said well, the train I was I just unloading before. So I think that. Oh, this is. You think this I, is the train? I think this is the train. So I think in a minute the problem is going to come back again. So actually, we're limited by the amount of copper ore we're getting. In that case, right? But the the belts are totally full here, and the chests are too. Then we need to um, have one of these like factories up here or something take a, a line of copper ore and turn it into plates. I mean, we I have a couple empty smelting factories that we could just pipe ore into. Okay, that might help as well. I'm just I'm so I'm looking at the train that's unloading copper right now and the front carriages are not unloading and the back ones are finished. But that doesn't matter, right? Because it all then goes onto the same thing. Hmm. I mean if you if yeah. They all get fed onto the same belt. Yeah, the same outputs. three belts, basically, so that shouldn't be a problem. Man, this is so sweet. Look at the train depot backing up. Like trains just getting waiting to unload. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I love it. So maybe, maybe I guess we're okay because that means we're we're outputting as much iron or like copper ore as we really can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could just splice off a line of ore into another one of these. But then, so the only problem with doing that is then we gotta route a belt of copper through all this. Ugh. Yeah, because these belts are all full, aren't they? Yeah, so we need to bring another red belt down here. And then play the game of uh, Splitter Soup again. <laughs> I don't... Uh, uh... Maybe while we were talking about all this, like, you know... Maybe uh, the rockets are done. Rocket after. ready to fucking go. <laughs> Maybe. Um, okay, so Clyde can't find the right pallet for the image. So stuck in a situation where I can't edit so I can't find a plant, the pallet, and there are hundreds of thousands of pallets. Oh, What's a pallet? Uh, so it's the the colors, right? 
but a particular set of colors, a subset of colors. Can you use like a color way. picker to pull them? Uh, that's a good point, yeah, I don't know, can you? Can you not just make the palette yourself based on what the image has? In fact, I think I remember seeing a Python program that would extract it. It was for GIFs, but I think the system would still work for whatever format you're using, where it just works out what the palettes are, or takes an image and comes up with the best 256 color representation of that image. Oh yeah, yeah. use that to optimize our um, lazy town. Oh, I should have shown Luke our lazy town stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Could have loved it. Well, he could have followed. Yeah, I know that bastard. <laughs> Jesus. Whatever. 87%. Alright. <laughs> Custom colors which make up the image, but the image I'm trying to edit <clears throat> doesn't have the proper color palette designated to it in the program. So you need to find the correct designation which the secondary program should give me. This feels complicated. It feels more complicated than it needs to be. Oh man, my game like screen really glitched out for that train hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh god, I gotta get running. I have to get swarmed. Oh yeah. No robots. Oh man, I think they're faster than us now. <laughs> I don't have an exoskeleton. I still don't understand why you can't just take just take the colors that are already in the image and use those. Why do you need to have the full palette before you can edit it? <clears throat> oh my god, I almost died by another train. <laughs> You're running up the tracks. What are you doing, you chump? <laughs> I need to find my body and it's by the tracks. I'm so right I don't by know it. I am right by your it. body. You're way farther south than you need to be. Well, I just, I'm also dodging the RoboPort, like... Oh, okay, um, yeah. Trying to stay between connections. Do, do you see it? Yeah. You're still quite close to the tracks there, mate. But not... This is far enough. Is it? Even farther than the signals. Well, Look. Find out. Oh, that's true, yeah. No, you probably find them. Otherwise, it looks like shite, and I don't edit shite. How how could it look like shite if you're using the same colors that are already in it? That's the point of the palette, isn't it? The more you know. No, I'm genuinely like I I'm certain you're right. I'm just genuinely trying to understand the concept of this. <laughs> I'm <like>. not. <laughs> well, I I'm not in a position of authority when it comes to pixel pixel art and editing things. And... No. Yeah, you just act like you are though, my friend. Nah, I'm not like that. Yes. You know how you made that new oil setup? Oh, was it not piped in? Yep. Oh, out of oil. Oh no. Where did I miss the pipe? There, oh, did right I just... Very, I didn't right mean, at like... the very head, uh, tip of it. Like right where it leaks. There's a pump and then it just goes straight oh, underground. <laughs> I nowhere. forgot to it's fix that. <laughs> very sad. I'm so sorry. You know... I meant to check on that actually. When we first started the stream and we were making more plastic, I thought to myself, I just piped in a new thing. Why? What's the problem? And I thought, ooh, I bet I made a mistake with the oil. So then we're like, welcome oh. on and welcome on. And <laughs> yeah. yep. Oh man, this is. I need to fix. Why is it. Fr the frequency. Wow. Man. The, um. Alarm doesn't. I uh doesn't go off when your own uh pipes get destroyed. 
It's down the. It says alerts. They're missing construction. Maybe that's those. Yeah, but no, they got destroyed by um. From the. Oh yeah, buildings being destroyed. Thing. I see what you mean. Yeah. All right. Well, now we're now we're. Now we're cooking on oil. Now we're cooking. Yeah. Probably should just nuke a couple of those nests. Yeah, you know, sounds, deal with sounds like fun. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna go get nukes and screw Ethan. We've got a rocket. It's, it's literally just finished weapons. as I came up to it. <clears throat> oh sweet! Time to launch the fish. Where's our Where's our fish? I don't have a fish. Mike should have a fish, right? No, whoever loaded the rocket should have the fish. Oh, that was me. Maybe I do have a fish. I don't see it in my inventory. It's a fish in the logistics network. Oh, wait, I found it. I was being blind. Okay, I got it. Loading the raw fish. Boop. Raw fish loaded. I wonder what it'll send us back. Are you guys, are you guys ready? Sh should we launch it? Should, should I go, or, or do we want to... Yeah, you can launch it. I'll just launch it, shall I? Do it. Alright. I'm going to race it this time. Watch it come flying past me. Oh! There it goes. So long and thanks for the fish. Yay! You're welcome. You're welcome for the fish. Enjoy. Third smartest creature, or second smartest creature, yeah. That's it, second smartest, yeah. We're the third. Uh-huh. That's not bad, honestly. I, I'm surprised that we're third. I feel like we should be lower. I love how it's written, though, because it's, it's something... I, I, this is going to be a miscard because it's been many years since I read it again, but uh, it's something along the lines of humans thought they were super great because they'd invented a bunch of cool stuff like digital watches and war and killing each other and all that kind of stuff and automatic weapons, and the dolphins thought that they were more intelligent for the exact same reasons. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's pretty good. Tell us if it's to go. Exactly. Thanks, Clyde. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so that, that image that you sent me, I see, is like all the colors are all messed up, so you can't edit them directly. I don't know why they're all messed up either. Yeah, not sure. Man, I don't know why we didn't, like, just fast tech to nukes. For clearing out nests, because yeah, I don't know why there's you ever clear out nests in another way. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice using nukes in comparison to to not having them. To like everything else. I forgot where our where our nukes and stuff are. Oh, do you see the lighting effect being all crazy? Yeah, it was it made it look like a double mushroom cloud. Really cool to watch them at night. Yeah, it's nice. I <laughs> just cleared that entire train. That was perfect as well. Uh, I'm watching Sid, by the way. Yeah. But like that, those biters like right at the edge were the last ones. It was mm -hmm. awesome. Maybe they don't start the default park because they don't all have a default park for allied units it might be something, but the park for enemy units using the same images is different. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. But like, if you have a finished picture, a finished pixel, or a finished image of it, 
Can't you just look at that? Turn turbo lay off. Yeah. That's effectively like building the pallet yourself, isn't it? Which I think should be okay. <clears throat> I mean, it will take a while because there's a bunch. You don't have the finished image. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, but how how do you not have the finished image? Yeah, you not screenshot it from the game or something. That would do it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's got to exist, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, but isn't can't you dump like every sprite in the game? Like, aren't they all just stored in a file or a tile map? What did the rocket send back down? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll check. Oh, I didn't see. Uh, I don't think anything. Damn, it didn't send us anything. Oh. Sydney, do you know of anything else you can launch in a rocket, or is it just satellites that return things? I think it's only a satellite that will return things. Can't put an atomic bomb in it. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could put an atomic bomb, hit map. Select the position of the map and it just blows up that huge region. That would be cool. That must be a mod though, right? Someone must have made that. Like an orbital strike or something. Yeah. Yeah, I just like cool ion cannons. You launch up the orbital ion cannon and then you direct it to do strikes every 60 seconds or something. That's cool. Yeah, and it looked like the nukes type of explosion. Yeah. So, I mean, so this seems like kind of curtains for Factorio. A little bit, yeah. Like... Pretty happy with what we did. I think so. We got, what, 40-ish 40, 40 hours of content out? It's not bad going, is it? Yeah, we got nuclear silo. Mm hmm We fully explored the latest patch, which was the nuclear power one. When we started, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with what we've done, really. Me too. But yeah, I f I'm feeling a little bit at a loss of what, what to do, or like what's kind of next. Yeah. So the the next type of stuff is basically just increasing the rate of production mm -hmm. to keep going. Um. But. That just involves like tearing down old stuff and building new, um, getting more like the ore in and getting more smelting and stuff. So it'll just be more of the same and, and yeah. kind of a grind. Okay. But um, 40 hours is pretty good. Yeah, What what's the, the kind of fastest or like a reasonable time for for people to get to the rocket not the fastest because i'm sure there's like crazy world records and stuff although i'd be interested to know what they are as well uh we i think this is a pretty average playthrough like okay. a little bit slower paced uh-huh but um a fine one for, for respectable the yeah Respect. respectable okay nice what's so we the went, like... fastest you've ever done um, I've done it when we've done our um, speed run, so I've done it in like the four hours. Oh my god. Four hours. Ten <laughs> times faster. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Do you just need multiplayer? Like, you just oh do it with more god. people? Yes, indeed. Yeah, multiplayer. And, um... Let's see if there's any more the, the planning and just people who know how... Cool. How stuff needs to be made in, in the most efficient way and the ratios and stuff, so... Hello, Smexy Vampire. Smexy Vamps, thanks, thanks for coming out. Killing the buggies. 
I'm gonna kill the buggies up to the north. Did you get the nukes? Buggies north of the wall. What do they want to do? They want to do what all Scots want to do: kill the queen and destroy our way of life. Oh, you're not using the nukes? I don't have any actually. I haven't picked any up. Oh, we've got like a hundred. Okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with nukes then for a bit. I think do I? I don't think I have the rocket launcher either yet. Let me. Wanted to know nuke damage research. Yeah, rocket launcher. There we go. Oh, I I'm not sure one. how much damage it does, but I think it just destroys everything. Yay, like, I'm not sure if it is an infinite damage, like it destroys all objects, or it's if not. It, just... it does 920 damage. Okay. That's crazy. Nothing probably has that much health, huh? Oh, a rocket silo does. The rocket silo could survive a direct hit from a nuke. Uh, if you look at the max health, it's 5,000. Wow. I'm gonna test this out. But I think it has AoE damage, so each square gets 900. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, each square would be 9 times the 900, yeah. But the way it does its like area of effect 3 and then... Should we try it, or is that a really bad idea? I'll go kill some biters first. It will blow it up, I promise you. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. Well, I guess since it has each square of the the thing as well, because how big is it? It's like a seven by seven. Right, so it's forty nine tiles each one, doing nine times nine hundred. Oh, I fired two. Whoops. <laughs> that was not a great use of it. Double tap. Yeah. Watch out, train. That's okay, don't worry, I saw it. I saw it on the map. Wow, that is ridiculous. A drive by nuking. This, this clears Let's out. Let's the biters so... take a second to die, and they're like, "What?" Yeah, what just happened? yeah they don't just the worms. That's our first science research, right? Space science research. I think so. Yeah, we haven't done one yet. Space science. Yeah, we were trying to grind through everything else to get the achievement. Yeah. Oh, this is All a right. big one. Big hit. Still want to do that? How much? I mean, we don't. We're almost done with. I guess there's a quite. How much time do you think's left on all that? Um, you find out. So it's two. Five. A thousand. Thousand three hundred. Two. So many biters dead. <laughs> Tyranids are incoming. So it's probably like eight or nine thousand science. left um so if we look at our lowest production science it's three a minute of the purple so it would take us however long to do that then yeah so quite a while i think mm -hmm. yeah Did you vote today, Sydney? I don't think there's one had an election. Oh, yeah, I don't have one. So what are these elections for? These are for, like, local government things. Okay. 
So like Boise's ballot had three town council positions and then also a levy vote for like basically like allocating funds and it was to um, use funds to preserve the foothills and prevent like development. Okay. So Seems it's a nice a good one. Idea. Yeah. Uh, Connecticut and New Jersey both had governor elections. Yeah, I, the Virginia one's gonna be really interesting to see if a Democrat can win that. And actually, so another an, an unprecedented thing happen, is happening in Maine right now. So the government in Maine did not vote to expand um, Medicare. And they just put it on a ballot instead. So they'll be the, maybe the first state to actually expand uh, their health care through a ballot initiative. Uh, Virginia is them. No, oh, wow. So that yeah, doesn't mean that one. much to me. Is that was that unexpected or like is Virginia a swing state usually or what? I think Virginia was like plus three or four Trump maybe. Oh right, okay. It was, it's a big switch because Virginia went for Trump. I don't know by what margin, probably massive one. So it's a big, it's a it's a pretty big flip to go from. You know, voting for Trump with some hot, like, you know, some, like, m maybe over 10% victory to voting for a Democratic governor because the, the demographics for a voter turnout is very low on these kind of, this isn't even like a midterm election, right? This is, yeah, like, so these tend to have really low turnout. Hmm, interesting. So it's cool. typically like just old people that vote in these. Yeah, fair enough. Not that I think that's good. But, yeah. yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, it's an opportunity for Democrats to start clawing back and mm. regaining some control of our government. Yeah, cool. Well, that's like so. a, good, a good thing, so. Nice. No. As usual, the process of debugging has filled my code with commented outlines. Sounds about right. Welcome to coding. Oh, show. How's it going then, Gibu? What what point are you at now? I'm excited to hear about your project. It sounded really fun. I think Gibu is coding a what sounds like a multiplayer creeper world. Or it's certainly set in the Particle Fleet era, which was the first Creeper World game, right? Something like that. Eric submitted the manuscript. I just got an email. Oh, brilliant. Good. And a signed an editor. Ugh. Good news. Hopefully, Hopefully the, the editor, editor. <laughs> gets up tomorrow. Guys, all right, I'm gonna do some editor things today. Today's my editing day. Yeah. <laughs> manuscripts back. It's on top of the stack of the other probably hundreds of manuscripts I need to look at. Right. Eh, everything's in order. Click, click. <laughs> yep. That's hard. Because it's a um, a fellowship I want to apply for at INL, but I need PhD. I don't need PhD candidacy, but. I'd rather apply with PhD candidacy because then if I get it, I get paid right away. You can you can surely apply for PhD candidacy right now though. There, I don't. Um, yeah, and I, I so since Boise State doesn't put it on in the transcript, I don't need to officially have it. I can have Dr. Callahan just write a letter saying that. Yeah, absolutely. I, have it. I mean, your but, paper's been accepted. It's been accepted for publication, which is like you shouldn't have to wait for the for it to actually be like printed before that applies. Like you've done everything within your power to get to it at this point. So. Yeah, so I'll email Dr. Callahan tomorrow and ask yeah, if definitely. she could write the letter. Yes, and send her the, the email of it being accepted as well. Well, yeah. maybe if she asks for it, do that. Don't do that before though, I guess.
I'll I'll run it. I'll send Eric a quick email first, just to okay check that because I'm sure she's gonna ask him. Probably, yeah, yeah. I might as well like loop him on that. You says so far I've implemented a wrapper around the Pi Game Surface stuff and used a multi-layered wrapper around that. Wrapper on a wrapper on a wrapper. Your dog, I heard you like wrappers. <sighs> Apparently. Mm. Oh, and something else that's happening with our uh, hap, uh, helping with the circuit production is we're backing up on the tier one um, speed modules. Oh yeah, so that's so that means we're just not need, you know we we need our demands lower. Uh huh. And now almost every single blue circuit, we only, I only see one not working. Yeah, and that includes one of the sides. So, away, so that's great. Yeah, we're doing good now. Uh huh. So, do we want to talk about what we're gonna do next stream a little? Yeah, why not? Do you want to go? Do you want to go ahead? I'm gonna I'm gonna get some water actually. I'll be right back. I'll wait for you. Yeah, alright. Hey, Sydney. Yeah. What's going on with this underground belt right here? Uh, I've copy and paste from Blueprint. Oh, okay. So, what'd you end up doing to fix your microphone? Uh, I have a tissue wrapped around it and then a. Um, zip, a uh, Velcro zip tie. Oh, perfect. To hold it on. Is this, yep. is this the bodge pop, pop shield? Yeah, you need to take yeah. a photo. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Actually, yeah, if you could do that, send it on, like, Discord or something. <clears throat> I'll put it on stream. So we can see. Um, but yeah, okay, so next stream. Gonna go back to our action RPG roots, aren't we? A little bit. Played yeah. Path of Exile in the past, and we're gonna go to the, the big daddy, Diablo 3. We'll be playing that with Schmevlet and Schmev's brother, at least a little bit. But then we'll see. We'll see what's going on with like who's around to play and who isn't, and hopefully we can get a in pin as well. Should be. Yeah, should be fun. Isn't, I don't think. I think we're up, like way past Schmev's bedtime. Yeah, so I think Thursday stream is probably going to be a bit earlier, probably, to start with. We'll see. We'll, ha we'll have to just see how things go. Um, the the It's going to be a bit more complicated at the beginning, because at the beginning we're, we're all probably going to play mostly kind of through together. But then as we get to the higher tier stuff, that's when we can start branching off and like doing our own thing a little bit. So then we can go back to a regular like half eight stream <laughs> or something. I think as well, like, Shmev is probably going to play pretty much every night, so there might be multiple bonus streams. So I think the schedule is probably going to get pretty messed up. Mm -hmm. um, is Diablo 3 a pretty popular thing to stream? I guess I could look that up. Uh, I haven't... I don't think it's super popular. Um, there are there are some, like, famous Diablo 3 streamers, for sure. Uh, but I think in terms of, like, just having random people playing, I don't think it's that popular. Maybe there's been a bit of a surgence recently with the uh, Necromancer pack. Yeah, there's 79 people live right now, and the highest one has 45. That's actually quite a lot. All right, I mean, to put that in perspective, even... there's 13 Factorio streams right now. Or 12 oh, no, 24. Games. That was a Diablo, original Diablo game streaming. Oh, I see, I see. Actually, a lot of these look like the graphics look pretty terrible, so they can use the... Right. Other Diablo games. Yeah. 
I mean, that's just the U UI bar. It looks kind of weird. That giant it red orb. On Linux. It does work on Linux. Why? Yeah, through one. It doesn't have a native Linux build. No, no, Blizzard haven't made one, but it, it runs really nicely, actually. There's a few, like, weird things you have to do. Like, I guess you have to run it in 32-bit mode as well, otherwise it just instantly crashes. Um, but it runs fine, otherwise. Actually, I was going to ask you that about Mountain Blade, actually, Mike. Are you running 32-bit wine or 64? I'm not sure. Okay, I I've got both. Like, I've got two different wine prefixes. One's a 32-bit one, which works. It's needed for uh, One Finger Death Punch. Which, actually, I might I might play that a little bit. Like, towards the end of the stream, I might just go and play that and we can chat. Because that's really fun. If you've not seen that, you, you should, like, have a look, because it's pretty great. Okay. It's a really fun little time-wasted game. How do I... Is there an easy way to check which Actually, I might even version of wine I'm running? I mean, I know which version I'm wine, but not 32 bit or 64. Um, there is, there's a way to get it. Uh, I can't think what the command actually is. Um, you might be able to check through wine tricks as well, maybe, or wine config. Uh, I think I just have both. I have wine and wine 64, although wine 64 could just be linking to wine. Oh, right, maybe. Um, let me see. Uh, I mean, it's like, I just, I just Google it and... Oh, yeah, yeah, wine tricks. If you, if you... Run wine tricks and then it tells you straight away in the in the terminal. Or if it doesn't say anything, you're using 32 bit. Otherwise, it says yeah, you are using 64 bit. Yeah, you use 64 bit. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was just checking to see if that was a problem. Like, if you're running 32, it runs better in 32. I was like, I can move it over to the other wine prefix. But anyway. Let me show you. Let me show you one thing. A death punch. This is a really, really fun game. Um, made by. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill the music though because the music is. Sweet. Oh, got a bit of a bit of a crash there. What is happening now? Okay, everything's crashed. This might not work. Oh boy, we're doing it live. Oh boy, it's never done this before. Still, still process. There we go. That was pretty weird. Not sure why that happened. Hmm. There we go. It worked fine this time. Okay. One thing at a time. I'll put it full screen. Although, I mean, I guess I don't know why, but I actually can't see the stream. You can't? I mean, I haven't this whole time. Oh, okay. That's pretty weird. Um... I mean, it's my end. That's okay, why yeah, I didn't yeah, like, yeah, say yeah. anything until now when you're, I'm, you want me to watch it, actually. Yeah, like, actually, yeah. that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Squite says, uh, he's in the Discord, found these awesome fellow hackers. Oh, fine. Fellow uh, Fire Emblem hackers introduced me to a program that's excellent, safe online. Perfect. Glad to hear it. That's awesome. Uh, I broke the computer from all that corner three. Yeah, probably. Sounds about right. All right. One finger death punch, ladies and gentlemen. This game is absolute quality. It's a little windy game. When you fight, your cursor can be anywhere. Silver dollar. Excellent music from Chinese dance machine. Really, really cool. It's Stickman Kung Fu right it's very straightforward two controls your left mouse button and your right mouse button uh so i actually i've nearly completed grandmaster but i haven't done it on linux so i've started again and i'm actually doing all of the levels it's taking quite a long time i'm currently on student this is the map there are plenty of levels to play from these are ones i've already played before 
But if I jump on through to, let's just do the next level. Um, this is a smash round. So break I have to smash 18 to objects by punching other stick dudes into it. It's smash pretty quality. Round. So it's 2D, stuff comes in from the left and the right, and basically you, it's kind of like a rhythm game to a certain extent, where you have to do the correct um, mouse button combinations to keep these guys up without dying. I've got 10 health, so I do have 10 hits. You can't spam. You spam, you miss, and if you miss, then you uh, go off the game. So like, you kind of freeze for a second and then you can hit. So it's actually like really... Uh, really good at making them not the spam mouse. So it's like a kind of cool reaction rhythm game thing. But it's really satisfying to play. Like, the, uh, there are a few games where the control scheme is so incredibly light and fast. Where you can like do something and instantly, like, with no hesitation at all, just feel that feedback straight away. It's really excellent. Very good indeed. Oh, what's that? Uh, why didn't you link? You got that. Oh, that's the uh, for Diablo Three. Oh, okay, nice. Anything? It has it in gold. It has gold. Okay. So this is a boss round. So this guy takes a real beating. I have to kind of focus as well. I can't talk and do this at the same time. It's pretty hard. <laughs> Killed him, killed the boss. But it's, just, it's a really nice little time waste. You can jump on in, do a level or two. This will be a good one. Ten, do They're also like special abilities. So you can have three special abilities in active. I'll show you when they have them. So you have a certain that you have to hit them. The animation is Weapons give me a bit more range, so there's a bit of extra extra space on the left and right that I can hit dudes in. Deep in my heart. That's one of the special abilities. So it clears everything on the screen. You can see them charging up on the left hand side. Bottom. And as you you have to kill a certain number of enemies for them to become active, like they do something. I've got to get the freezing point, so that kills everything on one side of me. is uh, reflect colour. So if a colour guy hits me, including the brawler, then it will absorb one and not take the health. I, I, I pulled up a YouTube video of someone playing it. Oh, okay. Wait, so you can't see the stream at all? Like... No. Oh, that's weird. Is it not coming up on Twitch? Yeah, I, I think um, I just have to... I think it's... I, uh, the repo I use for my H.264 Kodax might not have... Supply the. I might have messed up the priority on it, so oh, I'm, I'm pulling the non. Because it's 264 is a uh, patch on it, so it can't be distributed. Yeah. Oh, makes sense. Wait. So this round that I'm doing right now is an infinite round, so this is just survival. You survive as long as you can. The, uh, the guys come faster and faster and faster and faster. Uh, it's nice because it gives you progress on the map, 
no matter what happens. You don't have to actually kill anything. Um, but also, it's kind of fun to see what you go. Keep those reactions my own. Did you ever play Usu or Osu? Uh, I recognize the name. Remind me what it is? It's that crazy music again. Hmm. It's this thing. Let me, let me check. Yeah, you'd want to look at it on YouTube or something, I guess not. The Wikipedia, like, doesn't have a lot of screenshots. Between wizard and monk? I think wizard, so then we can share items. Oh, that was. I'm excited. I think I really like Diablo 3. I love I love playing like other action RPGs as well, like Torchlight and Path of Exile. But sometimes when you're playing, you just miss the Blizzard polish that they have. The good old Blizzard polish that they charge full RRP for all the time. Mm -hmm. So do you remember which Factorio Friday Facts explains their rationale for why they don't do discounts? I found one that references it, but not the full, like, explanation. I was too short. <laughs> I don't hear Sid, by the way. Is she still in Hangouts? I, I don't hear her either. Maybe, oh, maybe oh, she oh, set okay. that up for something. Okay. Let me let me find one of the. I like this one. This is a cool. This one's always fun. Is that the so is this the one that explains about the sale thing kind of i mean i i felt like they had bigger one but this is a paragraph okay so it's not like nothing but i can't find the one that has like more texts state it on our steam page but people are still asking about it so i want to state it officially we don't plan any factorial sale i'm aware that the sale can make a lot of money in a short period of time but i believe it's not worth doing it in the long run and since we're not in financial pressure we can afford to think in the long run we don't like sales for the same reason that we don't like 9.99 prices we want to be honest with our customers uh, when it costs 20 we don't want to make it feel like 10 or something 
same as with the sale as you're basically saying that someone who doesn't want to waste his time by searching for sales or special offers has to pay more hmm interesting good night FSM thanks very much thanks for taking us through taking us through Moon. the Oreo world um okay yeah so I know they had some some something more with the time thing. But Well they say they state it on the Steam page. Is it maybe something that's on the Steam page? Maybe yeah. it is. I just I I I get it and I think that they can I just I don't know. They they didn't explicitly make the point there that it cheapens the work that the developers have done, which I like because I think that's a bad excuse. Because uh, I don't think it does cheapen their work. If you, the the point of you putting it on sale and getting that extra money allows you to reward the developers more for the work that they've done, not less. That's all they say on their Steam page. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. So maybe I made up the whole. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, maybe I invented that. I don't know, or maybe I read it somewhere else. But what is funny is when you search Factorio and Sale, there's like a million Reddit and Steam posts, and almost every one of them say, "Here, look at this blog post, the the one forty, where they say they won't." Right. Yeah. Okay. There's plenty of demand for a Factorio sale. Oh, I think so. Absolutely, and and they could do it if they wanted to, um, and they could make a lot from it. And it would just it would just like raise publicity. I think that's the that's the mm -hmm. thing. Um, I mean, if you just yeah. look at the reviews, they've got twenty thousand Steam reviews. Twenty thousand times twenty, right? Yeah. Uh, let me just load that up. Factorio. So I guess, like the, you know, guy said though, they can think long term. They don't need the money. Yeah. Um... I think that's fair, but I think that if you if you follow that logic on and you go for the super long term, you're limiting the lifespan of your game if you're not putting it on a sale. So it's more medium term, I feel, honestly. It's not out yet, though. Uh, is it actually? Like, it's not even. Really, it's not. It's not, yeah, it's not, the not. The game's not released. I so always I don't forget about that because it's so good and it's so like <laughs> very well designed and. Yeah, it's never actually on Greenlight. It's just early access. Yeah. Man, this uh, this trailer is pretty excellent as well. I'd forgotten how good this was. You get to pretty see fun. <laughs> right, I'm gonna launch another rocket. I'm gonna put a satellite in it. Clyde's leaving. All right, mate. Bye bye. Thanks for coming out. Always nice to see you. <laughs> Why does your phone have both screens? So bad. Have a good one, Clyde. See you later. Overwhelmingly positive. Imagine a remote and unexplored planet. I don't need to. We already have one. All right. Well, I'm gonna kick off the stream. I think this this was very successful. Yeah. We did it. Beautiful. We we got a we got a satellite into space. We got ourselves some science. We then sent another one into space and got ourselves a fish. <laughs> Nailed it. Really. That was that was really fun. I love Factorio. Um, I think it's excellent really fun game thoroughly recommend it um it's not on sale and it never will be <laughs> but uh 
Uh, you can pick it up at early access, but early access in inverted commas. We're not talking like normal early access here. We are talking absolute 100% top quality, shebang, finished game. They just want to add more stuff to it, right? That's that's all that's left now. It's the only thing that's stopping them from releasing it. They could easily release it in its current state. The modding community is exceptional. Um, did we see a single bug? No. We didn't run into a single bug this whole game. Yeah. That in itself is impressive. To to play a game nowadays for 40 yard hours and not see a single bug. Triple A companies could learn a lot for sure oh, from our lovely yeah. indie developers. That is true. Um, uh, but yeah, that's that marks the end of our Factorio playthrough. Uh, I am certain that we will be back at some point in the future. We will be uh, playing mods, I'm sure. I know that Sid was talking about there's a... Do you know Skyblock in Minecraft? Yeah. So they, they're doing... They've, they've got one that's like the same kind of thing. It's like C-Block or something. Cause, you know, oh, that's sick. Yeah, so you have all the resources available to you, but you're on an isolated little island, so you have not much space. Space is a premium, but resources are still plentiful. Um, that would be super fun. I can see that being really good. Um, so, yeah, uh, we'll be back with Factorio, but next stream is going to be uh, Diablo. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if it's popular, see if you guys enjoy it, um, see if we enjoy it, and if we do, then we will continue that for the near future, at least. Uh, thanks for staying with us. Thanks for watching watching us play Factorio. And if you'd like to see the whole series, you can, of course, go to our YouTube. It's just a link down below. Uh, give us a subscribe on there, and um, you can watch the entire playthrough at your leisure. Yes, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thanks for the subscriptions. Thanks for the likes. It's We appreciate it. Yeah, they they really help us. Um, they always, they always say that, but they really do, <laughs> and they help us want to continue as well. So it's greatly appreciated. Um, that's all. Next schedule stream will be on Thursday, half a state, uh, or probably earlier actually. Uh, just check the Discord. I'll let you know when when we're going live. Uh, other than that, thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you next time. TTFN.